discover. Scene of uh, Sydney's Olympic Park, where 14 sports will take place in the Sydney Olympics in the year 2000. Well, not too far from Sydney last night, the next in the Grand Circuit races for Harness Racing, the Truro Memorial from Bankstown, and an outstanding win by Golden Rain. Neil Donnelly from Radio 3 UZ and Sports World's Harness Racing expert joins us this morning. Neil, I know he's been a big uh, favourite of yours. It looks like he's going to make the grade this Golden Rain. Yes, good morning, Bruce. So he's a serious star in the making, this fella, Golden Rain. And last night he proved that uh, he can match it with the very best. Uh, he gave that indication when he ran a close third and a tough third in the Miracle Mile two weeks ago, Bruce, but last night he, uh, he showed a real touch of class to suggest that he's going to be, I think, the star of harness racing in, the, in this country for a season or two yet. What a shame that Shandon's injured and these two who had some great duels as young horses don't get together. Nearly he reminds me, not the way he looks and he's not as good as yet, but he reminds me a little bit of Gamalite. He can really work hard and he does, and Gamalite didn't have the high speed of popular arm, but he had high speed in connection with when you compare it in with other horses. Oh, of course, Bruce, actually. He, uh, he's not unlike Gamalite in the way he races, certainly. He might have uh, a little more speed than, than Gamalite had, perhaps, to work himself into a race. Um, of course, trying to compare him with Gamalite is a bit tough yet. He's, only, he's on his way up Golden Road, and Gamalite did win uh, two of engine Dominions yeah. and, and, and a few other, or a lot of other future races. Uh, he might have a little more scope than Gamalite, and then he can be positioned in a race. He doesn't have to be in the death seat or doesn't have to be working. I think he races best that way, but I think we're going to see a lot of this horse and we're going to see it in the best company too. I think the thing that's been impressive too, Neil, is he's been able to race away from horses in the straight and that's pretty hard to do at this level. Let's go to the race, have a look at it. There's a lot to talk about. Chris Gleeson was rubbed out for 21 days for interference on the first turn. That takes effect after the Harold Park meeting on Tuesday night. Blue Light is on, racing in the Truel Memorial and away quickly, exceptionally smooth and young Mr Charles from the outside they're both going hard, Tack Rashid near the inside going with them and Lucky and Laughing as the turn comes up, it's trouble at the first corner, Lucky and Laughing gallop there she copped a squeeze up and fell back through the field, all the others got around her okay and finding the lead exceptionally smooth Tack Rashid second on the inside of young Mr Charles, Kirahapo Lord is fourth a length to Golden Rain, he's up running fifth early, followed by Weona Warrior on the outside of Lucky and Laughing, then I'll Ultra Jet and Master Musician at the tail of the field. Down the back, the first to come is Golden Rain. He's moving around the outside quickly, and Master Musician's going forward too. The New Zealander's coming around the outside, but he's out three deep as Golden Rain's going to find the lead here. And out of the back with about 2,000 metres to go, the Victorian goes to the front. Golden Rain, well, he's going to be hard to run down now. Master Musician's gone to his wheel second. Third on the fence is exceptionally smooth. 1-1 one, one now is young Mr Charles. Tack Rashid on the rail is fifth a length away then to Kirahapo Lord. Here comes Ultra Jet now. Aiken sending him around the outside in the last two. Lucky and Laughing and Weona Warrior. Down the straight with two to go and Golden Rain quickens up here as Ultra Jet comes from the rear of the field to go up and sit outside of him now and this will give Master Musician the one out one back trail. Over on the rail then running fifth is exceptionally smooth and then young Mr Charles Tack Rashid Kirahapo Lord and the last two Lucky and Laughing and Weona Warrior. Into the back. 1400 metres to go and it's Golden Rain about a neck in front of Ultra Jet going up to eyeball him now and he level pegs with him down the back with a lap and a half to go. Master Musician is right on their back now. He's 1-1. One, one. On the rail exceptionally smooth. One to young Mr. Charles. One out, two back around Tack Rashad. One to Cura Hapo. Lord Lucky and Laughing the fence and Weona Warrior at the tail of the field. 1,200 metres to go as they run out of the back. A lap and a half out. Golden Rain and Ultra Jet are going together. They're level pegging. There's nothing between the Master Musicians a length away getting a run of the race on the outside of exceptionally smooth. Then young Mr. Charles and Tack Rashad followed by Cura Hapo. Lord on the outside of Lucky and Laughing and a length off last is Weona Warrior around the turn coming in to get the bell now there it goes a lap to travel here as they come to the judge Ultra Jet on the outside. Golden Rain the fence. Still nothing between them as they go to the bell. A length away third. Master Musician. Well, he's getting a lovely trail on Ultra Jet's back. Exceptionally smooth on the leader's back. One away. Young Mr. Charles. Tack Rashid the fence from Kirahapo. Lord Lucky and Laughing. And the Inter Dominion winner is last of all. We own a warrior as they go to the 600. It's Golden Rain and Ultra Jet. They've been going stride for stride for nearly two laps now. Two lengths away is exceptionally smooth. Master Musician on the outside. A length away then to Tack Rashad. Then Young Mr. 
Mr. Charles Wellback, Cura Harpo, Lord Lucky and Laughing and Weona Warrior still last of all. Golden Rain and Ultra Jet at the 400 with Golden Rain getting a half length on Ultra Jet. Master Musician about to be called upon for his run now. Exceptionally smooth on the rail and then young Mr. Charles coming to the outside from Tack Rashad. Golden Rain on the turn got three quarters of a length Ultra Jet. A length of Master Musician and exceptionally smooth and young Mr. Charles but off goes Golden Rain. Golden Rain got away from Ultra Jet. Master Musician struggling from young Mr. Charles but this great horse from Victoria, Golden Rain. He's got the Tour Memorial one. Ultra Jet game as they come, but Golden Rain wins it. Golden Rain from a photo between Master Musician and Ultra Jet. I think the last mile, Neil, was about 158.4 and the sectionals were most impressive. Yes, Bruce, if you watch the tape, you'll see this horse is becoming... You'd, you'd swear he's a veteran uh, at racing in top company because Chris Alford actually had to urge him two laps out just to keep his mind on the job. And yet, when it really counted, when he really had to knuckle down, he did. And I thought Master Musician was a bit disappointing with the run he'd had. And uh, Ultra Jet, well, he's just the, the toughest of competitors at the top level. We own a warrior. I don't know what to make of him, Bruce. I think, no. uh, I mean, now we know why he was 40 to 1, perhaps, in the Inter-Dominion final. And, and Brian Hancock just was seen to one of, one of the best drivers ever seen in the country to win that final. He's lost all form, hasn't he, at the moment? Well, he, he just can't compete. He's just not competitive, yeah. He might get it back. Let's have a look at the uh, Grand Circuit points. I think we've had six of the 13 races so far. They conclude with the Inter-Dominion Championships in March. And we have a new leader, Neil, with Golden Rain, but he won't be going to Fremantle next week. He leads Shandon. Now, Shandon won't be competing for the rest of the series, but I guess the New Zealanders get a chance with the Auckland Cup, and then we go don't we, to Western Australia, South Australia, and then Victoria, the Inter-Dominion. Who do you fancy at this stage? Well, you'd have to think that Golden Rain would be favourite to win the Grand Circuit for a couple of reasons. One, he'll be in Melbourne for the, for the Victoria Cup and the Hunter Cup, which are both Grand Circuit races. Now, the connections of BBC, who we recall ran second in the Miracle Mile, have declared they won't be going to Auckland for the Auckland Cup, which I find very strange, but they say... He doesn't race at his best right-handed, remembering that Auckland is the only metro track in the world where they race right-handed, Sydney way galloping. Um, so his opportunities are limited. He's, the next time he races in a grand circuit race, BBC, it'll be the Inter-Dominion. Well, you could rule him out then, couldn't you? So Just Golden about, Rain, yeah. With weight of numbers, is certainly in the box seat. I think Golden Rain's got Master Musician covered at this stage. Uh, Shoken might be a different thing over in New Zealand. Oh, yeah. He's, uh, and of course, when you, uh, as you know, Bruce, you go to compete in New Zealand and... Uh, they don't like us Aussies going over there taking their money. They sort of look after themselves. It's pretty tough to beat their best over there. Uh, one thing Golden Rain has in his favour is that he can work, and you have to be able to work hard uh, to win races in New Zealand because you, don't, you won't get any favours from the local drivers. And Neil, four races in two weeks. Oh, yeah. You've got to be it's, tough. You've got to be very tough. And in fact, that was probably uh, the one thing that came out of the Sydney series earlier this year is that by final night, most of the finalists were very tired horses. They looked tired going out in the track. They raced accordingly. And the one that was driven best and got the right run won the race. I mean, it's probably not the right form to talk about it, but I think it's nearly time we change the format of the Inter-Dominion. Well, Neil, that, that might be one for the future. Um, our last program next week, uh, we'll probably we'll have the Fremantle Cup in an update, but we won't have a special harness racing segment right. because of the other programs that we have in that last one. But thanks for all your help during the year. Have a terrific Christmas, and we'll see you in the new year. Thank you, Bruce. Same to you and yours, and talk to you next year. Good on you. Neil Donnelly uh, wrapping up the big race from Bankstown last night. A break, Keith Stackpole and a really special guest, Freddie Truman after this. Yet in 1964, he became the first man to take 300 test wickets. Do you think anyone else will ever do it? I don't know. Uh, there's one thing if I do, I'll be tired.